Hey guys and welcome back to the 410 Tech. Today we're going to be talking about the Mister and what the Mister is is uh, Mister FPGA and FPGAs they can be used to simulate old video game systems and arcade games or arcade systems rather and how that's done is with the Jurassic DE10 Nano FPGA board and uh, prices have gone up on these and there's some, some shortages um, you might want to look at it um, Mister Add-ons uh, he gets like full kits in so you might want to be watching out for that I'll leave links in the description we got our kit in and it came with a USB board uh, and uh, IO board and a USB hub and the 128 megabytes of RAM is going to help you play some of those Neo Geo games but in today's video we're going to show you how to do a setup and we're going to get into it right after this Okay guys, first thing we're going to want to do is get our micro SD card set up and to do this we're going to use the Mr. Fusion method and to do this we're going to need to go to the GitHub page and I'll have the links for everything in the description. We're going to go to that GitHub page and this is the Mr. Fusion GitHub page and they have instructions. Like I said, I'll leave uh, links for this but you're going to want to download the Mr. Fusion image. So you want to go to releases, I already have it downloaded and what you want to do is just download the latest right now is 2.4 so you want to download that and get that downloaded because that's going to give you the image you're going to need to flash to your micro SD card and we're going to do that right now uh, they recommend some programs to do the flashing uh, Apple Pi Big if you do a lot of Raspberry Pi Belina Etcher and Win32 Disk Imager I'm going to be using Belina Etcher so we're gonna want you after you download it, we're gonna extract it here, right on my desktop. And that's the Mr. Fusion image there. Now we'll open up Belina Etcher. It takes a little while to pop up. And you want to select your image. And you browse to it. So on my desktop. There's the Mr. Fusion image open. Now you want to select target. Now this is very important because if you select the wrong hard drive, you can overwrite your computer storage drive or your OS drive. So you want to make sure that you, you get the right one. So actually I'm going to double check that right now on my computer to make sure I know which drive is the SD card and it is drive F in my case. So, looks like that's already selected. Drive F. Yes, is a one terabyte micro SD card. So, I'll click continue. And then, oops. I have to select it. Continue. And double check it again. Make sure it's drive F, and it is and you click flash and get this little attention you know make sure that it's unusually large drive you sure you want to do this and click continue and this might take a little bit so going to pause right now and I'll be back with you when this is done Okay, so that didn't take too long. So you get this uh, pop up if you want to format, just click cancel. And uh, the flat, that is complete now. I'm going to close out of Belina Etcher. So that's done. Then you're going to want to download the update all script. I already have it downloaded, and I'll leave the links in the description, but it's also going to be on the GitHub page. And you want to go up here to uh, code and download zip. I'll extract that here. Extract that zip here. That's and inside here, once you you download, you're going to want this update all script, and we're going to put that uh, on the micro SD card when we get to that. That's going to be really helpful to get everything uh, nice and set up, pull everything in. It's going to be just fantastic. All your cores and everything like that will be done using this update all script. 
So we have that done. So at this point, um, you know, we have the latest Mr. Fusion. Everything is on there. And we've got it on our disk. Uh, now we're going to want to put the micro SD card into our Mr. and power it on. And we'll get the uh, Mr. Fusion. Or, yeah, Mr. Fusion will start doing this thing and it'll reboot once it's done. And I'll be back with you when, we, when I get that set up. Now we want to power the Mr. down, remove the micro SD card because now we want to put the update all script onto our micro SD card. So here we are back on the computer and we'll navigate to our Mr. Data partition, go to the scripts folder and want to put the update all script here. So we'll copy it off the desktop. We, you know, uh, unzip that update all script earlier. The update all script zip. So we're gonna copy that. Go back to and paste it into the scripts folder. Got that done. Now we're gonna eject the SD card and put it back into our mister and power our mister back on. So now we have the mister power back up and it still says no files. So you, like I said, you will need a keyboard uh, for this. Uh, we're using the keyboard mouse combo, a Logitech that we use with our home theater PC. You also need an internet connection. Uh, you can set up Wi-Fi, but we are choosing to use ethernet for faster speeds and, and a more consistent uh, network connection. So you have to hit F12. And you, after you hit F12, it'll bring up the setting screens. You go down to scripts, hit enter, and you'll get a warning. You'll get a warning here. You just want to go down to yes and say that you want to go in. Hit yeah, get on, and then you'll see the the update all script. So this is what we're gonna run. That's gonna give us all the cores. Uh, you know, it's going to pull in a lot of things for us, get us all the latest stuff. And it, the good thing about it is there's many different developers uh, creating these cores. And this update all script is a one-stop shop to get you everything that you need. Okay, so you hit enter. Now you have, let's see, it's right now. You have a few seconds, but you want to hit up to go into the settings screen. Okay, so once you go in the settings, you have the main distribution, and that's going to do your main uh, Mr. Core. So you, you want to do that the first time, and then after you do it, you probably want to disable that because it'll be set up. And you want to run this update all script periodically when and this new stuff comes out. Um, and down here, you have the Jotago cores with the comp, uh, the comp Capcom play system. So uh, Jotago's developers developed those, and it's uh, you know really good stuff there. Um, we're going to leave this uh, this one disabled, this is unofficial cores, the low latency API, we're going to leave that disabled. BIOS getter is going to get all your BIOS files for all the, the different systems, main getter. So you see what it says, you're going to get, you know, it's going to pull those ROMs in for you for the arcade games, HB main, it's going to pull the ROMs in. And we'll leave this one, names tech disabled for better four names and menus. Arcade organizer, this is going to, you know, kind of set up like an organization Kind of like um, like the Smoke Monster ROM packs, where everything's going to be like you know A through D, zero through nine, stuff like that. Uh, so if you want to go in here and make any changes, you could. Um, so you go in, you see, you know, you can make changes in here. I'm not going to make any changes to that. Uh, if you made did make any changes, you could save and it would save your changes. But what we're going to do is we're going to exit and run the update all. Now this probably takes, uh, they say about 30 minutes. So we'll see you guys when we get that done. So that took over 30 minutes. I would say maybe closer to like 40 plus minutes. And again, it was like the first time we did it. But now you can see we have our cores here. We have arcade, a computer, like old school computers. Uh, we have consoles, Atari, Game Boy, ColecoVision, all that stuff, uh, Neo Geo. We see our different cores, you know, consoles, one into Genesis, um, arcade stuff. Let's uh, boot one of these up. 
you know what? Instead of doing that, go to organize, and then everything is kind of like a, uh, you know, Smoke Monster ROM pack on a flash card. Let's see if we can find something. He's going. Let's see what we got. Okay, it's loading up the ROM. So they update all script when grabs all the cores and for the arcade stuff you have the ROMs. Okay, so now we're back on the computer and we're looking at the SD card and on the update all script as you can see we're on our Mr. Data micro SD card partition and it added many more folders. So we have the arcade and see all the ROMs there. When you go into console, uh, you'll have your different uh, cores and everything there. But if you go down to games and you go into something like Genesis, you see there there's no ROMs there. So you will have to, the update all script's not gonna get all of those for you. We'll have to you know provide your own ROMs, and there's many ways to do that. A quick Google search. So, just wanted to mention that, you know, it does do the arcade, but it doesn't do any of the, uh, the console games. And then once you have those uh, ROMs, you put them into, you know, the different folders. Uh, you know, so for instance, Genesis games, you'll put those in there, and then the, the Mr. Cores will play the game for you. So, we're going to be doing more videos on uh, the Mr. This is just our, our first video on it uh, we, you know we're gonna be using different controllers with it eventually um, we also have the uh, Mr. Add-ons aluminum passive uh, heat dissipation case for it. Uh, Michelle's talking about getting the console uh, case that you can get for it so a lot of different things you can do for us we also have snack adapters what those allow you to do is to use original controllers with the Mr. so original like NES and SNES uh, controllers with it but this is just our first video on the mister and we hope you guys like this now do please remember to subscribe it helps the channel grow and to comment and to like this video and we guys hope that once again we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next one bye